Meet one of Africa's most popular tribes. The Maasai peoples are an indigenous Nilotic group. They are also semi-nomadic. They speak the Ma language. And the name Maasai translates to one who speaks the Ma language. Ma has Nilo-Saharan origin. According to their oral tradition, they originated north of Lake Turkana in the lower Nile Valley region. This is yet another ethnic group that inhabited Kemet. They began migrating south around the 15th century. They ended up around around central Tanzania and northern Kenya around the 17th and 18th centuries. The Maasai tribe is popular for their cattle grazing using spears and shields, as well as for their courageousness. They are experts at orinkra throwing, which they can throw up to 100 meters away. The Maasai people in Tanzania were forced out of their fertile land around Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Maru by the British. Their land was claimed to create national parks and wild wildlife reserves. Maasai peoples are traditionalists and they have rejected the modern way of living that the Tanzanian and Kenyan government have tried to force onto them, which makes them a strong symbol of resistance within East African culture. The Maasai rightfully demanded pasturing and grazing rights in national parks all over Kenya and Tanzania. They also stood firm against slavery and they had no problem living amongst the wild. They survived by eating birds and game. They were once feared by other groups all over Africa, but they lost much of their power in the late 19th century due to outbreaks of human and cattle diseases followed by severe drought. As a result, when the British and German colonizers attacked, they were in no position to avoid colonial conquest. They live in houses called Inca Jiji made of readily available material directly from nature. Their houses are perfectly designed for people on the move. Their villages are enveloped in a circular fence for protection called Enka. The women build the houses and the men build the Nkang. The Maasai people believe in one higher power called Enkai or Engai. Enkai has two sides and he manifests himself through colors depending on how he's feeling. Enkai Naruk is the black version of God that is good and beloved. He brings grass and prosperity. Enkai Naruk is found in thunder and lightning. The colors black and blue mean that God is well disposed towards men. Whereas on the other hand, the color red means that God is irritated. Enkai Nanyoki is the red version of God that is vengeful and he brings famine and hunger and he represents the dry season. Maasai people say that Enkai created the earth and gave them cattle, which they use for milk, food, clothing, and to make shelter. 